I'm getting ready to move my 300 plus plant collection from San Francisco to Southern California. This is the most light this Monstera has seen in a long time. So this is Harley, <laughs> but I've been calling my low light Monstera and we're on the way to go drop this off at my friend's house. I'm so happy that he's gonna be adopting it. Look at his amazing view of San Francisco. His apartment is so nice and this Monstera is gonna get to soak up this view and get all this bright indirect light. It's gonna be so happy here. Okay, so we are officially exactly two weeks away from moving. Look at my PPP. I think I'm gonna have to chop this up at least to pole height to fit it into some of the boxes. Yeah, it's tall. So this is gonna have to get cut back. Um, what else is going on? Oh yeah, look, <laughs> look at this. My snake plant is finally growing a new plant. This leaf, the frond on this palm tree, kind of died off um, in the heat, but that's okay because a lot more leaves opened up. Oh look, I can show you my view now. My windows are so dirty. We can't really like clean the outside and I'm scared to like lean out there because it's too high up. But look, I can show you my view now that we're finally leaving and moving out and I feel comfortable showing you where I live. I get some stuff, all of the stuff actually out of this closet. It is 10 days before my move. All my plants are out, so let me tell you what I'm thinking at this stage. So basically, I've packed up most of my belongings that are not plants, and I've got mostly just the plants out now. So I'm trying to figure out whether I should try to separate the plants from their cover pot because if I take them out of their pots, the ones that I have in a plastic pot and inside of a cover pot, I can put more plants together in a box without worrying about them squishing each other. But then I kind of like multiply all my plants because then I've got pots that I need to pack separately. But I think that's how I'm gonna do it because I think it'll be ultimately easier and better for the plants and maybe the pots to be packed separately. I'm just hoping that I have enough space. So yeah, my task tonight is to go around and to actually measure the plants and figure out how many different size boxes I'm gonna need. Okay, so let me show you all the boxes I have. I basically have um, these extra tall sport utility boxes. I think that's what U-Haul calls them and they are four feet tall. Um, they are 15 by 15 by 48. So that is just tall enough to accommodate the four foot tall poles that I have some of my plants on. Um, they might be like a little bit sticking up, but that's okay. I'll be able to shut the box. Then I've got lamp boxes, it's 40 inches tall. Small boxes, which are about 16 inches tall. Medium boxes, 18, 18 and a half inches tall. Then I have these large boxes here, which are 26 inches tall, and I'm hoping that most of my plants will fit into those. So I've got um, these two like large box sizes. I have extra large and then like large, and the extra large are actually the same height. The extra large ones are just a little bit wider. I'll pop up what I bought in terms of boxes. I did spend a couple hundred dollars on boxes, but it to me ended up making more sense than renting crates just because um, the crate prices get really expensive when you start getting into some of those taller sizes, at least all the companies that I looked at. So going with boxes.
So I have a lot of these uh, elbow propagations here that I've never mentioned before, I don't think. And I am about to cut all of the leaves off of all of them so that they can fit into the box I wanna put them into. Okay, there's like a lot I could say about this, but basically I had some elbow propagations without the leaves and some with the leaves on and the ones without the leaves sprouted new leaves first. Um, so all of these ones with the existing old leaves on them, I'm about to cut all of the leaves off. So we'll see if I regret this tomorrow. It is 2 a.m. I am leaving in six days and yeah, I'm about to do some damage to these <laughs> rare plants. <laughs> so let's do it. I am at the stage now where I'm starting to separate plants from their cover pots. I think that I'll be able to fit a lot more plants comfortably into a box together if I separate out the ones that have a separable pot. So that's what I'm starting to do. I've kind of decided to leave all of the plant packing till the last few days because I can't really actually pack the plants ahead of time because they need light. So. Now I'm starting to do some plant stuff and I've got most of my other things packed. So today is a Monday. I am moving on Saturday, um, but my parents are getting here on Friday. I wanna have everything all packed up by Friday. Oh, my hair looks crazy too. My sleep hairstyle. Forgive me for being a mess today, but I don't know if you can see the triangularis back here looking kind of sad. It dropped a bunch of leaves. I thought it was going through its normal seasonal like leaf drop. Usually about once a year, this plant goes through a little bit of a dramatic fit and drops a bunch of its leaves. But this time the leaves just kept falling and falling and falling. And I realized that it had spider mites. So I've been spraying it with a little bit of a soapy water solution. And I did just take two plants and put them outside my door. Um, both cast iron plants, actually, aspidistras, that I discovered are infested with spider mites. And I washed them, and then I decided that, you know what, I'm just going to toss them. They're plants that haven't been doing so well. I've had them for a while in my collection, but um, I'm at this point of feeling no remorse about throwing away some of the trash plants. So I'm trying to keep record of what I'm getting rid of and what I'm keeping. Um, but yeah, I, I just put these two plants outside, I don't think I'm gonna keep them. So <sighs> that's what we're doing. I think the Aspidistra just wasn't getting nearly enough light back there. I really kind of squished it into the darkest spot and pushed it further back from the window than it ever was. And it's been there for like a month now and the spider mites just took over. My, my tentative plan or my intended plan is to have all of my non-plant stuff packed up by the end of tomorrow, by the end of Tuesday, so that Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, I can spend purely dedicated to packing up my plants and to packaging them in a way that's gonna be good. If I need to go out, buy more boxes and buy more things, I'll have some time to do that. I'm transferring my succulent area into a bin. back there and I didn't realize it. So 
So I took some of the lightest succulents, like some of my little string of pearls, even though some of them are really long, and I just placed them right on top of other plants. Um, and if they get a little squished, it'll be fine, but because nothing else is gonna go on top of these, I think if they bounce around in here, it should be okay. plant thing packed up. Hoya shelf. These Hoyas have been so happy in this location next to these southwest facing windows. I've got some vines that are growing through the shelves. I've got my macrophylla here, which is the pot is right there. And then this vine up here, which has some peduncles on it. Actually belongs to the Hoya Obavada, which is all the way two shelves down there. So I have some untangling to do. subsisting on candy and whatever's left in the house phase of this move. <laughs>
is Wednesday. The move is gonna be in three days. The move is coming up real quick and I have reached the point where unfortunately I need to start throwing some things away. So this Chef Lara leaf, which has been living next to my couch for a very long time. I've had since pre-pandemic times, I broke off this leaf off of my mom's Chef Lara and planted it in this pot in hopes that I would be able to propagate it. And it has been growing in here for years now, over two years, and it is not going to sprout a new plant. There's no node. It was a really cheap pot that I found, the gold one, and the gold color is coming off and the roots are all in there. Anyway, just wanted to say farewell to this because this is not coming with me. <sighs> okay, I just got a call from U-Haul telling me that they have an equipment shortage and there might not be a truck available for my move. Um, I'm livid, honestly. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I called them yesterday to confirm that everything was all set and I'm... I'm panicking now. Now I need to figure out another option for a truck. Oh my gosh, okay. tips. Um, I'm whispering because my husband's on a Zoom call and we can't close the door because there's too many plants in the way right now. So um, <laughs> I'm standing over here whispering to you so I don't interrupt my husband's meeting. I also changed my outfit because <laughs> I noticed that my butt was showing on my husband's Zoom call, I think, and that's not what we're going for here. Anyway, my goal is to pack boxes where I intersperse plants that are potted into a um, ceramic or otherwise breakable pot and shove plants that are potted into their nursery pots in between those pots so it gives a little bit of natural protection um, and try not to place two glass or ceramic pots directly next to each other so that they don't smash but um, yeah that's the that's the goal this isn't going to be possible in every box This is my pitcher plant, this Nepenthes. It never looked good even when I put it on this pole. It was really floppy and I thought these leaves might recover, but it hasn't. So I don't even feel bad about this. I'm gonna chop this way down here. Um, a lot of new growth has grown in. It looks great to me, the newer parts. Um, the older leaves are really yellow. I kept it in this location where it gets a lot of light, probably too much. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut this big piece off and take this pole out so that this can fit into a normal size box. If someone had like a greenhouse or somewhere hot and humid to put this, this might just keep growing like this and grow aerial roots. It's like jungle ready on this pole. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's taken care of. You see me? Okay, so this is my big bird of paradise back here. Um, I really like this plant and I want to bring it with me, but it has some spots on all of the leaves that I've just been ignoring for a long time. And I'm going to take this as an opportunity to do a really hard prune and prune off all of the leaves and hope it grows back. So um, I've got it in this cover pot and I want this plant to be able to fit into not my tallest box size because I actually don't have that many of them. So I'm going to chop all of the leaves off of this plant. <laughs>
feel great about that. Um, no regret. It's more manageable. I got rid of all those spotty, weird leaves. Chattanooga boy had a dollar and a dime. Headed out to Nashville on the hard rock line. I'm working on that old steamboat and learn to ride the steam. When my feet had touched dry land, how happy I did feel. Saving every penny for to make up through the fall. Working for that dollar, but it never adds up at all. Coming around the river banker, the old train was so sane. The very next thing you hear from me, I've been tied to a ball and chain. And I don't know where I'll be But if it wasn't for that old sheriff I'd be back in Tennessee Playing cards and crap games Not looking for the score If I ever get back home again I'll never own no to my son. You may not know better, but I know you know right from wrong. Buy yourself a postcard so you can see the lights of town. Find yourself a country girl, keep quiet and sit on. Okay, so hear me out. I think I can squish my Monstera Aurea and my Patriciae and stuff into this extra large box, which is only two feet tall. They're bending over pretty far, and I'm gonna try to squish them in here and see what happens. Okay, look at this. So, I think, I think this is gonna work. That was the, the Spongebob let's hang out in a box angle. Imagination.
So in here I've got the variegated Adansonii, Oria Monstera, Milano Chrysum, Hoya Wyetii variegated, a ficus, uh, a rubber tree, a ruby rubber tree, um, a Hoya carnosa, a plain one, my Alocasia lauderbachiana, what else, a random bird's nest snake plant, my philodendron patriciae, and I think that's it. Did I mention the variegated giganteum? That's in there too. I think that's 10 plants total. So I guess I've never really shown you the depths of how crazy this tower is, but this Scandapsis specifically um, goes everywhere. It's all down there. And then this is my TV console. <laughs> it's all the way back there. Okay, lines grow through the grate of this structure. Let me show you. Oh shoot, you really couldn't see what I was doing. It was like angled up there. <laughs> okay, it was like a magic trick, but basically I tipped this sideways and was able to squish the flaps underneath um, and use my Hulk strength to lift the pot up and put the flaps under and then sacrifice my arms and hands <laughs> inside the cardboard and pull my arms out. And decided to cut it. We're doing it.
Uh oh, the holes are getting stuck on the mute. <laughs> Can you help me with a hand to like put your arm under those leaves? No. Yeah, now lift up. Uh oh, on this side now. Thank you. Wow, it's in there. <laughs> By the way, for the people who were all upset about the mushrooms, I have not removed mushrooms since the first time I showed taking them out of this Evansonii, and it is uh, freaking full of mushrooms. So we're bringing the mushrooms with us. They're fine. I just think they're gross, but they're not harmful, but they're in there. So let's go. Really big wow. It is super late, Wednesday night slash early Thursday morning, and I packed up most of the plants minus the huge ones in this like main room. Um, there's obviously still a lot of plants sitting out, but I think I got the majority of the plant collection. I left all the boxes open except for a couple which I wanted to put other boxes on top of um, because some of the plants in the boxes are relatively freshly watered and I'm concerned that if I sealed them up right now, if they get too humid inside the box, the cardboard is going to get mushy. So I don't want that to happen, so I'm going to leave them open for at least another day probably before I seal them up just because I don't want them to be deteriorating for the move, obviously. I also ended up eliminating quite a few plants today and setting aside a bunch that I'm going to be giving away. There's some like pathetic little plants that have pests or some other kind of issue and I just decided this is where we part ways. <laughs> I'm really looking forward to sort of a fresh start with, it's not even a fresh start, I'm bringing pretty much my entire plant collection. I still have hundreds of plants. <laughs> so anyway, I am so tired. I'm going to go to bed and wake up early and do the rest of the stuff. Hello, it is Thursday morning and I've got to pack up all the rest of the plants today. I've got a whole situation with these Oreos, so I'm going to try to basically just move them 